Namaste. Welcome back to the afternoon session. We begin the first session with uh, Sri uh, Shanmugam ji. His uh, uh, his topic is overview of storytelling using bow as musical instrument. Willu part two. Another session on Willu part two. Good afternoon to all of you. I am Shanmugam. I thank the organizing team for giving me an opportunity. my view on the, the storytelling using a bow as a musical instrument which is called as uh, willu pattu next slide please next slide please yes sir in india we have a different form of the storytelling different forms of storytelling uh, give mainly the information related to uh, either uh, god or the social related one like that <coughs> in folks are is an art in which the average member of the group participate more generally than is the case with the cultivated music or literature of the society nearly everyone in the group folk group knows the song and sing them or at least listen to them know a good deal within them as regarding the word folk the word for word folk is mainly from the greek uh, german word folk which means people that is the folk art is the art of the people in in india we have different forms of among the one is billupattu uh, billupattu comes under the category of uh, folk songs the billupattu is one of the most popular film folk in the southern district of tamil nadu namely uh, trinalveli tenkasi thoothukudi and kanyakumari and this form of art is said to be art for all the story telling art we have kadagala kshepam and also we have pravachanam this form of story telling mainly arises from the the willu patu this is the one next slide please the next slide please as regarding the history of willu patu <clears throat> once upon a time there lived a king king in the forest he went on for uh, hunting in the middle of the forest then Uh, after the hunting, uh, the king was so tired. He sat on a tree and uh, wanted to become to take rest. The persons accompanied them uh, began to sing a song on various uh, topics uh, using the bow as an instrument, and they also used kudam as the another instrument. In this manner, it. the history of the willu patu was there next slide sir this is the picture showing uh, the group of singers singing the willu patu at least five or more members next slide sir apart from that story other traditional information are also that related to the willu patu history uh, we know very well that lord anjaneya is a great kadakar uh, lord anjaneya used bow as the musical instrument uh, when 
the lord rama was in the stress condition so lord anjaneya was also contributed little bit to the uh, or both musical instrument traditions and apart from that another story is also that during the war time uh, the in order to refresh the soldiers in order to bring back the happy part was sung on the ancient war heroes the life story of the great great warriors okay later as the culture develops villu patu was performed on the village deities next slide sir the exact period during which the bow song developed was not known but traditionally the people believe that it was during uh, 15th century when it was developed but uh, the uh, points related to the various uh, forms of villupattu is also seen in the sangam literature for example kumilin pular kot todutha mararpuri narambi will yard seekum viraleri kurinji this is the line taken from the about villupattu as well as the person who is singing the villupattu they are called as panas and uh, in the silapadikaram the great epic we have one line related to that vitchuril veda yeivil yeina veivil yeina ambudai valvil so this lines denotes that the exact period may be uh more than the 15th century maybe it is around more than it may be older than the 2000 years old one uh, we have different uh, uh, change in the villupat tradition we have current current form of the villupat tradition was mainly trained by the pulavar arudha kutti uh, that is mainly during the year of uh, 15th century next slide please sir as regarding the musical instrument used in the villupattu we have wide variety of uh, musical instrument among them first one villu bisikol uduk kudam and thalam okay in this we will see one by one uh, the exact troop can to six member uh, i got from your a folk song which explain all these instrument as well as the exact troop members present in that ainde pe sendinge rasa melam thani seithu villisai sirandirave ainde aranai toludome the person who is singing that song that person is called to be said to be the main chief performer uh, he is singing that ainde pe sendinge that is the troop exactly consist of five members ainde pe ainde in tamil this is the tamil word ainde uh, the exact english word is five members ainde pe seendinge all in a group manner to join together in order to sing uh, a various songs mainly using the instrument called will okay that is bow ainde pe seendinge rasa melam dhani seithu villi sei sirandirave aingaranai toludome aingaram the ganapati is said to be in the uh, aingarane so the exact meaning is five members joined together uh, worship to perform the very well in bow song as regarding used in the villu part is the villu um, or it is also called as bow it is mainly made from either palmetto palmetto tree jack fruit tree or even the bamboo tree okay so in that category we are having one song related to that panai mara kambeduthu kanayonnu vadivamaithu punainda yeladi neelam idu villikor enbadaiya vill enbadaiya that is panai mara kambeduthu the bow is mainly preferred using a Uh, wood mainly from palmira tree panai mara kambeduth kanai onnu kanai means here will it is uh, prepared from mainly the palmira tree and it is said to be the total length of around 7 to 8 feet 7 to 8 feet near uh, lengthy uh, bow is prepared and it is covered with more and more uh, colored ring colored uh, cloths vanna tunigal katti 
Mengala manigal putti. Mengala manigal means it is uh, uh, it is with more and more strings. Another instrument in this that is called as vesicol. That vesicol is a tool uh, that is used to stick with a small handle. The main artist that is uh, that person is called as anavi. The story teller will hold it in hand. While singing, he would beat the strings of the bow with this uh, swing and raise the music to the rhythm. Next slide, please, sir. Another musical instrument, which is a percussion instrument. This instrument is called as uduku, or also it is called as udukai. Udukai. It is. Uh, through this instrument called Uduku, that the ultimate music is expressed. This is made from a cough skin. That is, this instrument is mainly uh, prepared from a skin that is obtained from cough. Okay, and it is covered with more and more fibers. That fibers are mainly called as Palmyra fibers. And this Uduku is said to be one of the most traditional uh, musical instruments, almost used in the uh, various temple festivals. And next slide, please. The next slide. Next slide is uh, we have important tool that is used in the Villu Patu. This is a part made of clay. Uh, this the bow is clay with inicu design that has a rimless mouth area. The earthware is placed on the platform and tied with will. Okay, it, um, this is made from clay. Mannal say with the Kudamennum Kadamadaye Kadirkondu Sandwich Puti. Pudam is tied along with the uh, will in order to create a proper music. Next slide, please, sir. Pudam. is uh, beaten with the one instrument called Patti. Okay, this is made from uh, Wari Nar. So, what is our Wangi Vandi? Why call Sand Ding Kati? Pudam Patti on the Kundu Vandome. So, this type of Patti is mainly preferred from one Nar that is called as Warai Nar. Uh, I bought Patti, which is made out of straw paddy and plantain fiber to beat the Kudam. So, in, uh, in order to create the sound uh, from the Kudam, we use it to straw of paddy and plantain. That, for, that thing is called as patti. Next slide, please. Next slide, sir. Then we have another instrument that is called as talam. This talam is a musical instrument. Uh, this is made of two circular plates made of brass or bronze. And music is born when these two circular plates are tapped on top of each other. The rhythm is all also important one in the bow. The so next slide, please. Next, we have uh, uh, various sessions associated with the uh, Villu part. Uh, what are all the various sessions? Seven sessions associated with the Villupad are first one is Kapu Parvam, second one is Varupurul Uraita Parvam, uh, Guruvadi Tuludal Parvam, Avayarakam, Na Natanalam, Kadai Kurum Parvam, and Varti Parvam. These are all the various sessions mainly associated with. First one is we have uh, Kapu Parvam. Kapu Parvam. This Kapu Parvam. Shanmugamji. With the worship of the God. Yes, sir. Uh, 
sir. you have another 2 to 3 minutes okay sir top parvam in that parvam the person will begin to sing a song on the god in order to uh, complete the entire process within a stipulated time next we have varuparul uraital parvam during that marbodu otiyange porile villeduthu porku kadai sollave villeduthu paada vande like that it goes on uh, next uh, guruvadu worship in that the person will watch uh, praise the one who taught the art next natan alam in that natan alam uh, the chief singer will explain about various uh, well uh, things associated with the particular country then comes the next parvam that is called as kadai kurum parvam then the last one is vaart parvam uh, in that vaart parvam uh, the chief performer will uh, call the audience to have the happy as well as the prosperous life so next slide please uh, these are all the different forms uh, pravachanam and kadha kalakshepam this forms developed mainly from the villu paattu next slide sir next slide sir uh, it play important role uh, for example creating awareness in population control blood donation eye donation aids and latest one is mainly the covid uh, awareness as well as uh, awareness is mainly done by this villu part artist next slide sir villu part as present situation mass media development decreased growth Uh, Doordarshan and All India Radio preserved the tradition to little extent. Government, as well as central government, as well as the state government, gave award uh, like Batman Sri Award to recognize the contribution. Due to the COVID situation, the economy of the artist is very poor. More efforts needed to preserve the tradition and. Uh, Regarding the latest development in the villu party, Singapore-born Tamil origin rap singer Lady Kash Akka Kalaywani Nagarajan prepared an album on villu party, and it went on viral on the internet. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Shankar Ji.